channel. My name is Dr. Lasker, one of the content curators of Rad Academy. I'm doing this quick video to hopefully give you guys a bit of guidance as to what books are good to use with regards to preparing for the 2B exams. So, I mean, I actually sat the exam twice and I ended up reading pretty much most of the books out, out there. So uh, hopefully I am coming from a place of um, knowledge when it comes to this. Um, these books are just recommendations. You know, there may be some books out there that have, you know, since surpassed these ones. Um, but these are the ones that I personally found useful. In fact, I'm going to go through them in the order that I think would be the most beneficial to you over the next few weeks or months that you're going to be studying. All the books I recommend, there are links in the um, description below. So if you are interested in finding them, then just click on the links and that should take you straight through to Amazon where you can buy these books. So first book is Rapid Review of Radiology by Shahu Dussain and Co. And I have to say, this is a really great book. I, I think I randomly stumbled upon it in the registrar room. And one of the other registrars told me that this is actually quite a decent book, despite how old it looked and how old it is. And they weren't wrong. Uh, it's a very, very good book with great cases and great explanations. Only thing is, I'd say that because it is an old book some of the some of the pictures could be a little bit better but the point is it's, it's a good start book and actually I remember this book had one particular case that did not come up in any other books that I read and actually did come up in the exam so I think that this does have the odd gem here and there that are definitely worth looking at so great starter book I'd 100% recommend getting this one so the FRCR 2B Viva case-based approach I've actually was fortunate enough to work with two of the authors of this book Paul and Philip um, both great characters both great guys and excellent radiologists and this book is a very good book because it has some really good pictures in it and actually more importantly than that it's got a sort of a the perfect way to present each case so you know with other books generally speaking they'll just tell you a bit of an explanation and the rest of it but this one actually told you a great way to how to present a case in a viva style so you know it, it gave you descriptive terms it gave you a good differential a good differential and then it gave you a decent management plan so i think this is a really good book so when you go from the first one you kind of get your kind of foot into the door and start to get used to looking at images and learning from images. And then this one gives a really good way to start to think about how to present these cases when you are in the Viva situation. So I think this is a really good one to get. And it's not particularly big, you know, I think it's, um, it's something that you could probably get through uh, in a week when you're under pressure. And when you're not under pressure, it might take you a while if you're anything like me. So uh, final FRCR 2B Viva, a survival guide. Um, one of the big names that keep popping up as you start doing more and more of these 2B stuff or anything related to 2B is John Curtis. I don't know him personally at all. I just know that, you know, he's got quite a few books out there. He does a fair bit in the Royal College. Uh, he's got a good website as well, from what I can tell, you know, lots of interesting videos and things like that. So um, would I recommend his book? Yes, definitely. I think John Curtis has given a lot to radiology and uh, to FRCR 2B training in general. Uh, he's actually got a course uh, in Aintree, which I did go to. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. It was a long journey for me because I'm a Londoner. Anything outside London is too far for me. And um, also, I just found that there were just a huge number of people in there. It, was, it wasn't very sort of... Um, it wasn't really catered towards my need. It was very generic. And, you know, there was a lot of things I didn't like about it. But with regards to the books he pulls out... He knows he knows what he's doing when it comes to these these um, exam books and how to uh, present and how to learn and how to teach and also um, his cases are really really good like really you know really interesting stuff with a lot of lateral thinking involved and things like that which is what you need. In fact, a consultant of mine um, did tell me that the FRCR two B exams are also about mental agility. Um, as well as mental ability. So I guess what he was trying to say is that, you know, having that ability to sort of think out the box a little, um, depending on what you're seeing, is a very important thing to be able to do. And I think this is a good book to sort of get that concept across to you, to start to think a little bit outside of the box, start to think about other things uh, beyond what you're seeing on the images and relating it to what you're seeing as well. So yes, 100% recommend uh, this book by John Curtis and Co. So you can see a bit of a pattern here. John Curtis again with another book, uh, Final FRCR 2B Long Cases, another survival guide. And uh, these are just more cases. And um, I think this is, a, I mean, it's the same It's the same formula as the last one, isn't it? It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, in fact, it's the same title, just different authors. Um, so yeah, I 100% recommend his stuff. I think it's um, very well put together. He knows what he's doing. Really great cases. Um, you know, these are the kind of cases that you 
if you do if it does come up in your exam you just want to smash these for what they're worth you know just um i'm not saying get an eight you know i, I don't know how anyone would get an eight i'm not an eight candidate but i think this is a good book to sort of get you get you a safe pass and the pattern continues john curtis again with long cases for the final frcr 2b exam um they, i mean they're very formulaic again isn't it just going through the cases and um I mean, the limitations of all these books is that, you know, they're not, you know, they're not high definition images and um, that will have those limitations. And I think these days with the advent of the Internet and all the rest of it, I think um, you can probably do a lot better with regards to some of the revision material out there. But I think um, this is a very good book to go for just because it's um, tried and tested and it's got some really great cases. And, you know, clearly John Curtis knows what he's doing when it comes to writing a decent FRCR book. So um, the Master Pass books, I mean, I found them really good in general. Um, I mean, if you're going to look at so if we're talking about being dated, I mean, look at this. It's got some random diagrams. I don't even know what these diagrams are. Maybe someone out there can tell me. Uh, clearly not smart enough to know what these things are. In general, I mean, you're pretty safe with these. I remember for the final um, FRCR Part 2A exams, these Masterpass books were really questions pitched at a decent level. And it's the same for the 2B book here. Again, you know, it's going to have the same limitations as anyone else. Like the images are a bit old, uh, maybe a little bit dated and level of definition when it comes to the pictures. But the concepts and the, the, the cases, the level of cases and stuff are really excellent. So, yes, I would recommend this book. So top three differentials in radiology. So you hear this a lot, actually, when uh, people are talking about doing the vivas, they say that, you know, you should really come out with three differentials. You know, in truth, when I was doing the exam, I probably came out with like two. And uh, if I had more, I I'd actually tried to talk a bit slower just to try and like kill a bit of time. Um, so like, let's say I had the differentials for cavitating lung lesions, you know, I would, uh, I, I literally said, you know, cavitating lung lesions can be caused by malignancy such as squamous cell carcinoma. And I think I was very slow just to try and make sure I was in control of the situation and try and, uh, you know, make sure that they knew that I knew enough. And I think by the time I got to differential number two, they kind of got bored of me and were just like, you know, let's just get on to the next case. I think three differentials are pretty safe. You know, one differential is good enough. Two is, you know, doing pretty well. The thing with this book, it is a massive, massive book. You know, I think when someone told me about it, oh, that's awesome. You know, I'm just going to plow through it. There's no plowing through this book unless you're incredibly gifted at reading, like one of those crazy speed readers or something. Um, and there's just so much information in here as well. It might as well be like some version of Daynar, if anyone knows what that is. Um, yeah, so I think this is a good one, except I would recommend that you you don't go in with the idea that you're going to get through this entire book. I think um, you have to be realistic with the amount of time that you have, and it's better just to sort of concentrate on the areas that you find difficult. So, for example, for me, I found chest radiology and pediatric radiology very difficult, and in fact, chest peds or peds chests even more difficult. It was like the combination of everything I didn't like. So... Um, I think just sort of const this one's a good one to concentrate on the bits that you find difficult and try and get yourself to a decent enough level. I, you know, like kind of work on your weaknesses to make them your strengths. So these rad case books, I mean, clearly I've got a problem with chest imaging, which is why I've gone and chosen thoracic imaging. These are like these tiny little books. I don't know if people, or maybe I'm giving my age away, like Asterix books back in the day or Tintin books, you know, these kind of thin looking books. It's very similar with regards to these rad case books. But I think they're really good if you've got any weak points. So let's say you're not very good at, you don't feel like you're very good at musculoskeletal radiology. Go find the musculoskeletal radiology rad case books and just work through it. Excellent pictures, high definition, uh, really good explanations. Um, and I know they say there's 150 more cases online. I don't think I even bothered doing that when I had the book. But generally speaking, I think this is a really, really good one to go for. And this is this is kind of thing that you want to be going for near the end of your revision because, you know, by that hope, by that time, you would have figured out what you're not so good at, not so hot at. And um, also, you don't need to be reading everything over and over again. You want to start really concentrating on your weaknesses. And for me, like I said earlier, it was peds and chest radiology that I found very, very difficult. And so therefore, I actually just ended up reading the peds and thoracic imaging rad case books. And I found them really, really useful. So anyway, I hope that was useful. I just want to make a really quick video just to get people going and, um, you know, hopefully give a little bit of advice as to some of the books that are out there. But I, I genuinely found the books that I've recommended here um, really, really excellent. I gained something from every single one of these books. And um, if I could go back, I'd probably only do the books that I've recommended in this video. 
So hopefully that's been useful. Um, just leave us a like, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification button if you um, do want to be notified when we start to release more and more videos. I'm hoping to make this channel a really, really great resource for anyone that's sitting the exams. For anyone out there that's looking for a decent 2B course and come over across to radacademy.co.uk. It's proving to be a bit of a game changer and I highly recommend you guys joining it.